I think that that effortless, uh, I think more it's more that it feels easy because you love doing it. Yeah, a hundred percent agreed. And that's one of the ways to easily measure that is like when you're doing it, are you looking at the clock the whole time or are you realizing that the sun is now coming down and you didn't even notice that? Right. Or whatever, you know, you know, but the entrepreneurial lifestyle is one that there's so much mythology about at this point and it's held by many in such regard because they don't know what they're talking about. And a lot, most people aren't cut out to be entrepreneurs. It's the up and ups and downs financially, the ups and downs emotionally, the tolls it can take on you, the tolls it can take on the relationships that you have and all that are all things to be considered, you know, when you embark on an entrepreneurial career. But, uh, and all of that kind of thing is addressed in the book. So it's a lot of questions. It's not a how to, mm -hmm. uh, in the sense of do step one through 10 and you'll be successful. It's a how to ask yourself the right questions and how to really examine your decisions and try to make the best decisions that suit you the best and do the best for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love what you said there. Um, cause it's something I heard, uh, similar, uh, Tony Robbins says like you settle for your standards. And when I say standard, I'm not uh, using it in a way in this context of like one's better or not as good. What I mean, though, is you said unemployable and people will ask me like about the entrepreneurship or like I work out every day, things like that. And it's not even hard for me to do these things. It's actually that I literally can't like if I don't work out in the morning, my day just sucks. Like for some reason, I'm just like programmed like that. So it's not actually that much effort to do. It's not really an option. And the same thing was mm -hmm. with uh, becoming an entrepreneur and dropping out of college, I realized very early on that like being at a desk with a suit and a tie, um, like I hate ties, first of all, I don't know why I just do, but regardless, like just, I can't do it. Like it's not possible um, for me to be in that type of environment. So like doing this was inevitable. And so it's interesting when you flip it like that, it's almost like so you expose yourself and then you start to realize what are the things that actually feel somewhat effortless. And that might be a kind of a, a point that you realize like, oh, maybe that's a path I should take because I just spent like podcasting. I could do this for 10 hours a day and I'm lit up the whole day. This doesn't feel like work to me, you know, but like on paper, people would classify this as, oh, you did a podcast like that was work. Well, yeah. I don't think it's I don't think it's effortless true it's, yeah, not completely yes yeah. it, it's that you're fully engaged and enjoy what you're doing so yeah. it doesn't make any difference how long it takes uh the it's what's hard is when it feels like it requires effort that you don't want to put into it because you just don't give a shit yeah or you know yeah. but when you're doing something that you really enjoy then it seems effortless because you're engaged with what you're doing. 